pleasure to sign my professional contract at Chelsea. That's what I've always wanted to do. Yes, you lucky people, you've got all that from us this Christmas and there's still loads more to come. Would you like to see a little bit more of me beating Jimmy White? No, he was texting me straight away saying he beat Jimmy White at snooker and I've been bored of it. Have a, have a look. Go on then. Yeah. Shot. Well done, well done. She put the balls. Cleared the colours against Jimmy White. Let's move on to football, that's more important. <laughs> Bournemouth here made it 12 in a row and only two goals conceded in that time, Jason. Ridiculous form. Yeah, and only one goal has been scored by the opposition, by the way. Don't mm. forget Gary Cahill's um, own goal against Manchester City. Brilliant form. We're not conceding shots on goal, really. Mm. We're not conceding too many efforts. It, it's, it's been a remarkable turnaround change of shape has been absolutely key and of course normally when you go defensive you actually sacrifice some of your attacking prowess not a bit of it I mean we're scoring goals for fun as well so at both ends of the pitch we are doing things exceptionally well we could analyze serious things but speaking of fun let's have a look at a couple of bits coming out of that Bournemouth game including Hazard's Rabona yes I mean it was a free kick that has to be said there's the free kick but he wasn't to know about it oh. And I was the keeper. Wonderful effort. I mean, thank, I mean, in some ways, if that had gone in, it would almost have been a shame to have seen it disallowed. Eden Hazard scored his 50th Premier League goal for Chelsea. That's well worthy of a montage. Another milestone achieved in no time at all from Eden Hazard. Pedro's was the goal of the game, though. This is how Mr Cundy celebrated it. I have to keep my cool, uh, but Jason can do this. <laughs> well, it, it was. I, I'm, I'm a little bit of shock there, I think, because it was such a beautiful goal. Little intricate passes. It moved out from the right-hand side into Hazard. It played that little ball into Cesc Fabregas, into Pedro, and just scooped it. And the people sitting in this seat would have had a great view as it was in the shed end uh, over there. So uh, a pleasure to be here as well. And speaking of celebrations, a couple more goal scorers in this week's... Game of No! Huddersfield's match against Nottingham Forest was all about Chelsea, really. Michael Mancien scored an og for Huddersfield, playing for Forest and was then sent off. But Casey Palmer also scored for them, so well done him and his good mate Tammy Abraham. Back in the goals, Jason. Whammy! With this one against Wolves. Uh, they lost that game, Bristol City, but... Tammy, in behind, good run. Yeah, the boy's still doing it, isn't he? Even though now he's a marked man, people will be very much aware of what he's got under the bonnet. Try and stop him, very difficult. Now, one visitor to training last week, which was here on this specific day, not at Cobham, was Frank Lampard. And he has helped us look back on 2016 by picking his own featured five. What a job he's doing. Antonio Conte is overseeing a revolution here. New manager coming in, um, putting his real mark on the team. I think he has to take a huge amount of credit. He's changed the system sort of early on in the season and the way he's drove the team forward. So Conte, Costa, Moses, the reaction to Arsenal and the fans. A pretty good five from Super Frank. Moving on to social media now. Not a whole lot going on this week, but David Luiz did post this. Jason, uh, yeah. William having the, the old neck crick thing. <laughs> it's not the most comfortable thing to do, especially with a camera at your nostrils. Um, keep it still, William, make sure you flop. Oh, there you go. Here. Have some of that. It's uh, like whoops. snapping a stick. That's the noise you hear whenever that happens. And William will, all being well, be back in the side against Stoke because Pedro is banned. Don't forget that, which brings us to Stoke. Uh, first up, the bet from the betting partners, William Hill. Diego Costa to get two or more.
And on the subject of Diego Costa, you may well have seen, I hope you did, a very good show and a very rare sit-down interview with the man himself over Christmas, Diego Diego, which gave you a bit of an insight into just what kind of bloke he is. Es que yo, es, tú lo ves, es un trozo de pan, ¿no? Creo que por más que mi campo sea fuerte, sea, llega fuerte, que es su forma de jugar, es... Um, Yo es una leyenda, ¿no? Todos sabemos lo grande que ha sido y lo que es todavía como jugador. Entonces, en ese momento ahí, si entra mi madre, le voy a enfrentar. Creo que en campo, mi madre, mi padre, lo que sea, sea mi hermano. Entonces, ha sido un momento ahí que, que no por él, pero cualquier uno que está ahí lo haría igual. No, no ha sido más, simplemente ha sido un, un enfrentamiento, tal vez porque era guapo, ¿no? And that is him, Jason, a winner, whatever it takes. Yes, and he's got that in his uh, locker, hasn't he, to have that. He's got that nasty streak, which all players need at some level. But the fact that he is now only just received his fifth yellow card, and I think his game has benefited, was it Arsenal? Mm. It was the last time he got booked. So that part of his game, although he's still very much there, he's managed to control and temper it. Long may that continue as well. Ten without a caution till Palace from Arsenal, but of course he's back, or is he? Does he get back into this side? Yes, <laughs> of course he does. He, and had Pedro been, uh, been, not been suspended, maybe there could be a case for saying, you know what, it was so good against Bournemouth, but your best striker has to play. Of he does. And it gives us another option. I think playing Hazard, William and Pedro, as we saw against Bournemouth, with that false number nine, gives the manager another, another choice, another option, but Costa walks back. They caved in at Anfield in midweek. Stoke, you worried about them at all? The only thing I'm worried about is set pieces. Shawcross, for me, I think he's looking an old centre half in this division. Isolating, getting 1v1, see if he getting that situation because I think he's there for taking. I'm going 13 in a row, you? I'm going 13 in a row, 2 0. 2 0, fair enough. Yeah. And in terms of signings? Yeah, I mean, you're looking at maybe bringing back Nathan Aki. Um, there are a number of areas on the pitch you look at and think, could we cope? What if Moses went injured? What if Alonso was out for four weeks? Something like that. Nathan Aki ticks that box for me and he's, uh, he's got a recall on his, uh, on his loan. It's always silly season, the January transfer window. We shall leave you with some memories of those days past and say Happy New Year. Goodbye for now. Matic with a hit. Nemanja Matic, what a goal! Volley. Oh, oh what, what a goal! A goal! Louise thinks about the shot. Oh, my goodness gracious me! Ivanovic has scored! Yeah.